Damn, no one else wants to see you. That's crazy. Oh. <gasps> welcome to For Honor, a game not welcomed on this channel. Although For Honor may look like a sword fighting game, it is nothing more than an advanced game of rock, paper, scissors. Just like TF2, the Ubisoft Janitor gets paid annually to update the game with a 50 cent budget. Just like RL Craft, no matter how good you get, the game gets harder to take care of your own mental health. Just like Sekiro Shadows died twice, you can deflect the most butt clenching attack but get immediately thrown off a cliff later. Just like Overwatch 2, traveling alone in a high elo server means you get ganked by the entire team and leave you more fucked than Julius Caesar. Imagine if Combat Warriors was a good game, but that would definitely not be this one. <laughs> oh, oh no! In front of the knights, vikings, and samurai come together for a sword fighting orgy. All you need to know is that knights look sick, but everyone hates the new characters, the vikings look sick, but everyone hates all the characters, and the samurai look like this. And they're all weebs. Also, charge heavies are funny. Amongst these three, there is usually faction wars, but every time the vikings stomp everyone else, they get free loot. The Chinese are really cool, and the entire community describes them with... And everyone pretty much hates the outlanders. Seriously. The male pirate looks like the people who describes himself as a zodiac sign. And the medjay is a fucking helicopter. Now, you may be wondering, Brent, why does your frontier look like a PS1 indie game squeezing to the lowest quality imaginable? My answer to that is fuck off. I do this so the game is actually runnable on my computer because I only have 8GB of RAM and try to install more on the internet. A game doesn't have to look good to be good. Some games look like shit but still play amazing. But there are some games that don't and that's because graphics aren't everything. In fact, instead of making the game look great, make the bosses fun to play against instead of a damage sponge that throws lava at you for 15 minutes straight. Or maybe make the weapons in the game interact with each other so you're not too busy finding another BFG charge to clear one singular minion. Or how about make the soundtrack phenomenal instead of making two good song that appear once in the entire game, and the company doesn't respect- The For Honor combat system is pretty cool. You got a health bar, you got a stamina bar, and you got a triangle. This triangle is a symbol of For Honor, and has a very simple meaning to it. Like every sword wielding triangle, there are three stances. There's left, there's right, and there's top. Your attacks go in the direction your mouse is facing, which means you can also guard the attack from the direction you're facing. But you can ignore stances by pressing guard break, leaving them open to an attack. The only way to counter this is to guard break them back. And that's it. You can play For Honor, which is a fucking lie. Do you really think that's why we fucking hate this game? Do you really think that that simple move said compared to what we're gonna compare it now okay. is why we hate this game? No! So ah. Ah. No! <laughs> no <dick. laughs> I don't There's one more thing that ignores guards. Unblockables. Usually characters have this as a finishing heavy or a bash. But there's a dodge key in the game, so just dodge. But remember, Ubisoft fucking hates you. So they put on dodgeable attacks in the game as well. Frontier is simple because everyone has your moveset, but complicated because everyone has your moveset. If you time the heavy just right from where the attack is coming, you can parry an enemy guaranteeing an attack. But what if you didn't? Moves are feintable, which means someone can throw a heavy at you, and just when you think it's coming, they blue ball you by cancelling the attack. But what's the point of cancelling attack in a game where you're supposed to fight? You can bait out a parry or you can turn into a guard break. The important thing is that it makes them react. For Honor turns into a guessing game and whoever has the faster reaction time. In other words, it's fucking family feed. This game is full on reaction based, so turning off your brain in the game fucking works. Remember what I said about everyone having your moveset? But what about character specific moves? And remember, there's 31 different characters. And as I'm making this, another character dropped as well. I'm so far away, right? Super far. I can't, I, you I can't, can't get right? like, me. You can't get like, me. If I try to do that neutral bash, yeah. this is what happens. Okay. What the? Do you like one shot moves? How about a move that counters most of your attacks? And you. What about a fucking gun? All these movesets are unique to different characters, which for some reason isn't even updated in the campaign mode of the game. So, there you go. 
Now you know something about For Honor. As of February 2nd, 2023, which is today at the time of the video's release, this game is going free for a week. So go and try it. Literally, go download it right now. I have another video cooking up that will be dropping during the free week, which is a bunch of compiled clips that didn't make this video. Also, this video is sponsored by me. Honestly, we've reached that point in the subscriber count where I want to tell you guys to subscribe so we can hit 1k. So please do. But uh, if you're new here, I ask that you stick around. I want to push a little less shit post this year and actually try to keep something cooking every now and then. But yeah, see you, I guess. Okay, bye.